is that? It's a massive staircase. Oh, let's go investigate. Where does it go? To? It just goes straight down. Oh, I'm gonna go check this. Um, where's the door? Here we go. I mean, I know there's some people by my base, and I'll have to show you that as well because I've repurposed a tunnel somebody's made right in my in my mountain to my advantage. But hmm, this is interesting. So where is that? Somewhere up here, probably. The entrance. Oh. Uh, let's see. Ah. Did you look at that? Oh, wait. Ooh. Ah, here we go. So somebody's been here. I can. Uh, yeah, I'll just be scanning lots of things as I pass by them. Oh, a new research point in Lux. Sweet. So yeah, so I'll be doing a lot of scanning as we walk around because I want to get as many research points as I can. Well, somebody's built some sort of big ol' tunnel down here. Can I get this copper ore? Ah, too complicated. So I really have to start getting some research points so I can start scanning more things. What about this type of ore? Nope. <laughs> Tin? Oh, I can. So that's uh, metal, pedicio, and vitreous, which is that uh, like clear glass stuff like that. That uh, crystal. What about this coal? Can I get that? Coal ore. So I wonder if that means I can scan the coal itself. I can. There we go. Sweet. So let's let's just get out. Oh, actually, we're gonna do this. Run flush. So I'm getting lots of research points. Um, these will be spent when I do actual research in the uh, research table. Now, from what I know, research is actually quite complicated. Uh, uh, you need to, like, figure out what points you need to spend to connect to, like, certain aspects. It's very complicated. You'll have to see it when I build the research table. But it's like, imagine you have two different aspects that make up this research. And you have some space in between them. Oh, you have some space in between them. Now, you need to connect those two uh, aspects by linking them with aspects that they're made up of, if I'm explaining that right. Wow, oh, get out of here. Oh no, jeez, there's way too many out here. I'll just swing by and grab that. Yeah, okay. Um, so if I'm explaining that well enough, which I'm probably not, because I'm literally no expert in this, uh, that would be it's like just research. It's very complicated. I'll just show you. It's it's too complicated to explain in words. It's having a hard time. So, um, in between episodes, like I said, lots have been going down. Made some tools. Uh, and I found lots of stuff. I found this crazy liquid poison bucket. I don't want to place it down because I'll probably poison myself. But that's pretty cool. I'll have to find out a use for that. Um, I also actually found a aura node, and I read somewhere that you could break it. So I wanted to just try it out, and I guess it works. So I got these ethereal essences, which I might actually be able to scan, because they're just pure essence. Oh, I picked that up too fast. I, you don't have all the knowledge required to understand this, so the fella doesn't work that way. Um, I also found these lovely white cherry saplings. Let's just go see. Uh, which I'll have to plant. I've, I've been exploring all sorts and all over. Um, it's quite cool. We'll have to investigate some of this area later. So I've, I've tried to grow this white stain sap, but it's not good. So I'm just plant some of these white cherry trees to get some fancier colored wood, perhaps. I had some of the logs, but then it was became a huge hassle, so. Um, also, another thing I've added, if you've seen all this wool cool I've collected. <laughs> Literally, there's so many sheep everywhere. But another mod I've added is the Archimedes Airships mod, so. I figure, if I have any more string, oh, I only have four, it's probably not enough. Um, I figured we can build a cool little airship to help us with some transportation. So, let's get some wood, and we'll have to build, I believe it's called a helm first. So the helm's kind of like the controller block for uh, the arc meat, like the actual ship. So that's built like this. Sorry, I haven't memorized. Um, there we are. So there's the helm. 
So this, when you right click it, kind of makes all the blocks attached, like the ship itself. So if you have um, just a tree, I mean, I, I can imagine, oh wow, that grew fast. Um, I can imagine you just pick it up and fly it away. But um, because it's connected to the ground, it would probably say there's too many blocks to connect, so you can't actually get it. Ooh, here we are. <laughs> ah, this researching is fun. It's going to be a lot, though, because I have so much to research. Uh, so you make a helm. Next, you, for me at least, I'd want to make a airship. So this is wool with a piece of string, and you get some air balloons. Now these kind of like act as the buoyancy for your ship, but I believe it's a one-to-one -one ratio for uh, like the ship to the balloons for it to be able to lift off. So how about we try just a really, really simple ship? Just to try it out. Um, where do we build it? Let's build it. Let's build a little landing platform. We don't have a shovel in here. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? So if we stick just like, hmm, we really don't know how to do this. I uh, will have to make it look a lot better, I guess. So we have four balloons. So I'll say, oh, man, I'm really not doing this right. Let's see. Let us build a little platform we can build up on. Now we build the wood. And then if we stick the helm there, looks like a steering wheel. Pretty cool. And let's put the balloons underneath for now. This is... Oh man, this looks so bad. Uh, let's put it in here. There we are. <laughs> wow, that is terrible. It's like a motorbike. And you right click, and you're mounted, and is it working? It is. Check that out. So we have a very basic airship. I have the wool to make more airplanes, but I don't have the string, so we'll have to go get some string from some spider farming, perhaps. And there we are. We have a working airship where we can explore the world. It would be especially helpful. Ooh. No! <laughs> oh, no! That's so high up now. Nice. Just... So that's one fatal error you can make is accidentally left shifting and falling out of your ship. There we are. So let's lower that first before I do anything else. Uh, so what I was saying is this would be especially helpful if I'm using my thermometer because ooh, I cannot decompile ship here. Oh, because it's yeah, there's the leaves. So pretty much that that just means the blocks can't unload as a ship. So it gets very complicated. And actually, now that we have our cool little ship, let's go explore that slime island. Now that we know that's there. I said that's horribly weird. Just don't like it. Um yeah, we can go check that out. I don't like nerd pulse, so I'll just remove that. I do like to scan that sequence. Nothing. 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 Okay, well, never mind then. So now that we have this, let's go up there and explore. Up and away! Wow, this is pretty cool. Now I can see our whole place from above. Fabulous cool mountains. Lovely little tube shack. Ah, there it is, the slime island. I recognize that blue anywhere. Now, this ascension's a little bit slow. I, I don't know if it can go faster if you add more balloons or not, but for now this is the best we got. And we better not we better not fall off this because there's no way we'll be able to get our ship back. We did. But there should be blue slime spawning. Oh, I should have kept the bucket, shouldn't I? Oh, I have some iron. Cool. Because I think you can uh, bucket up some of the blue slime that's up there, like the liquid, which is the object that, like, spawns the slime. So maybe we can bring it down and use it. Oh, well, we can get that tree, too. Get a slime tree. Are there any slimes up here right now? Ooh, I see the little blobs flying off. Hello! Anybody up here? Ah! It's lively! So let's park. No, oh, no. Let's park right here. And get to work. So there's this congealed blue slime, which I think is. Whoa! 
bouncy, at the very least. Oh, jeez. Um, which I think is uh, what you, the consumable is what you use for the actual uh, tool rod. Like, you have to make something, so we'll be sure to select, select, collect some of this. Go up to slimy grass, too, I can. Blue slime dirt. Cool. And, can I scan any of this? Nothing can be learned. Nothing to be learned. Okay, so, this is not compatible with Thumbcraft, so, best not to try. Let's see if we can get a sapling, perhaps. We can grow this cool slime tree down by our base. Any more slimes? Yes, no. Seems to be none. Maybe they're afraid. But anyways. Uh, oof. Bouncy. Let's make ourselves- well, we have crap. Sweet. Uh, let's make some buckets and see if we can grab some of this blue slime. We'll make two buckets, please. And... Did that work? Yeah, look, it's slime bucket. So this is what actually spawns the blue slimes. So instead of having to come up to this mountain, or this mountain, this uh, floating island every time, which is, though cool, very far away, in retrospect, you can't even see the ground very. Um, so if we bring this blue, this liquid slime back home, we can start spawning the blue slimes nearby. And that means we can get this blue, congeal blue slime, make some blue slime rods, which I think it's good because it's got a high multiplier, I believe is what it's called. Um, when you make a tool rod, it adds a multiplier for durability, I believe. So blue slime has one of the highest ones with a t complete two times durability. So that's really good. We'll have to make some tools for that, perhaps a better sword, because though the poker is lovely and served me very well, it's a little bit weak and a little bit lame. Uh, so we'll have to do that. I'll just collect a little bit more of this blue slime, and then we'll get out of here. Who's a slime dirt useful? Not much at all, so I probably don't even need this. I'll just leave that back there. It's kind of ugly, too. It just drops right through the seeds. Oh, I didn't get a sap, so... Ah, there's one. Perfect. Now I can get out of here. Two saplings. Perfect. Alright. Hop on our ship. And descend. Back down. So, I think what I should do when I get back is get to work on building a tool forge. Uh, we definitely have enough iron ingots to make it. It costs four blocks, so I was careful for making it earlier. But, uh, if we make the iron forge, we can make all the more advanced tools, like hammers and excavators and the like. So, uh, I think we should get ourselves maybe a hammer? That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh, oh yeah, we do have aluminum grass. I was just thinking, oh no, we have no gold to, uh, make casts, but I forgot I accidentally made way too much aluminum grass. Oh wow, those cherry trees grow very fast. Look how lovely. This pink area. So we'll park our motorbike over by our house. Slowly. So very slowly. How do we park on top? It'd be funny. Uh, descend. We'll have to build a proper parking area later with some buffers, I believe, which means it won't ever connect to the ground. Which is helpful because if you want to park close by, like, oh, sure that works. If you want to park close enough for you to actually dismount and remount your, uh, what's it called? Your ship. You'll need some buffers to actually have it rest against the ground. Let's just put away some of this stuff again. And I just have so much. Uh, and then I think this is what we can use for tool rods. Let's just see if we can make one real quick. We need a cast. Where's my tool rod cast? Oh. I couldn't tell what it looked like for a second. Uh, so tool rod. We throw in some of this congealed blue slime. Nope. Hmm, let's see. Uh, blue slime rod. No? Rod. Let's look. Slime to a rod. Oh, this is just called the same thing. Recipe. Hello? No? Okay, maybe not. Uh, let me check the book. In here. Materials here. Uh, da 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 da. 
so we will need. Ooh. Wait, can I? Only... I need a slime crystal. So that's okay. Slime balls, dirt, and sand. All right, that's not too bad. We've got the dirt. Oh, I'm dirt ready. And we've got the sand as well. Let me just cook it up and scrap. Uh, do I have any? I do have a little bit. Now, I believe you can eat this, which I probably don't recommend because it doesn't heal much and it's kind of gross. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's too many. Um, so I'll just use it for this slimy bud, which we cook up. Thank you for the chicken. I'll eat that now, actually. Uh, can you, can you uncraft this? Oh, I can. Perfect. So I have tons now. Let's make a few more of these. We can have enough. You know, just make sure. 16. That looks good. Toss that in there. So this slime crystal now, we should be able to make a tool rod with it. There it is. Tool rod was good too. Because we've got an extra. And let's see. So, what are some materials we can make this out of? Um... <laughs> the bronze is a little bit lame, to be honest. I want to see if I can get something better. Where's my book? Might not have it. Okay. What materials are there? Uh, flint, cactus, bone, bone. Huh. My, it does have a very high mining level. Obsidian would be pretty cool, but we don't have obsidian. Or diamonds to mine it. Well, Alamite, that's made with obsidian. Netherrack, no, we don't have nether access yet. Blue slime, grease slime. Yeah, see, handle modifiers two times, so it's very good. So full tool dur durability, if I made one completely out of slime, it would be 2,400. And it's got a okay mining speed as well, but it's got like no mining level, so it only mines stone, which I believe is like a wooden pickaxe. Now this actually is good too. If you make a... For example, a what would you make out of it? You'd put a what, oh, I'm just looking at my all my things. Put a tool binding. That's the word. If you put a tool binding out of paper, though it does make it a little bit weaker because it's got a 0.3 uh, modifier, it adds the writable uh, like attachment, kind of like this um, rapier I've done. So this has a paper binding, if you can tell, that little crossbar. Or whatever it's called. Uh, that gave it the writable. So that means if you add some upgrades to it, like putting uh, redstone or uh, lapis, diamond, you can add one more than normal. So actually, let's make that let's make that uh, tool forge so we can show off some of the stuff we can do. Uh, do I make it? Do I use this or this? One of these. I need to make uh, three. Oops. Two. Two. Um. Oh, one of these, right? I think I can just take this one up. Cause we, it'll, the tool forge will have all the same stuff. The tool station. There it is. Tool forge. So, this is going down. As you see, we have tons more options. But, uh, let's just, for example, upgrade this pickaxe. How about that? 